Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today in this video we will unbox and review the new uh, my new monitor. It's an Asus uh, Tough Gaming uh, monitor. It is by the number VG249, I think Q from what I read online. Um, this is an IPS monitor. It's very inexpensive. It's a budget monitor. I got it for uh, about 200 euros which is uh, less than $200 in the US. I'll leave it down below in the description. Um, it's an IPS monitor. It has uh, 144 Hertz refresh rate. It has also uh, FreeSync, which is good because I have an AMD uh, uh, graphics card in my PC. But also, I think it also works with uh, NVIDIA graphic car graphics cards. Um, it has ELMB, which is extreme low motion motion blur. It has one millisecond response time, um, but uh, I, from what I've read, that that when you set it up for one mil one millisecond, uh, you get a lot of uh, motion blur, and you cannot turn on the ELMB, which is the extreme low motion blur setting. Uh, it also has stereo speakers, but I won't use them because they are monitor speakers. So let's open it up. I have my trusty knife with flowers. You, s you can see it in the other review, uh, other video where I um, built my first PC. Let's open it up. I'm gonna stand up over here. Okay, when you open this up. Instructions on how to set up the stand. I'm gonna need these because I'm going to use the stand, the included stand. This is a power cord. I'll set it up for later. Some instruction manuals, how to set it up, how, conne how to connect it. Um, is there something else in? No. Let's set this down. side like this um, okay it has HDMI cable this is the stand this is where you gonna put where I'm gonna this is what you place on the desk and you place the display on top of this put it on the side here Let me take out this cardboard box so you can see better. Open this one. And here it is. This is the manual, I think. Asus VIP member notice. Thank you for making me a VIP member. And here it is. It's set on a portrait mode. It's not in landscape because of the stand. But let's install the stand first. Okay, it's supposed to be set. It's sturdy, so let's take out this. Let's probably put first rotate it. And this is the monitor. It looks good. These are the things that are saved that I said, now 
yeah, this is the model number, 144 hertz, IPS EL, uh, ELMB, one millisecond, free sync, um, shadow boost, eye care, stereo speakers. And it's rated at 1A, class A for energy consumption. Okay, let's take this out. So from ports we have, I'm going to show you. We have audio jack, DV, uh, VGA, sorry, display port and HDMI. I'm going to use the provided HDMI cable that came with them. Okay, so the power port is here and uh, we have unboxed it. Let me uh, take this out and uh, set it on my desk and you will see it there. Let's go. Hey guys, so I've been using the monitor for two months now, uh, using it as my main display uh playing games on it uh editing videos on it editing photos on it and here are my, um, the height adjustment is very good the stand is great um, you can adjust it very high it can it can, it can go very up very very much and it can go down so uh that depends on your sitting uh sitting height too uh, also, it can ro rotate 90 degrees, so you can use it in portrait mode. So, if you're a programmer, or if you are, uh, if you use it for editing photos, like port portrait shots, which I, if you are a professional, I would not recommend it. But for budget and for uh, uh, amateurs, I do recommend this monitor. You can also tilt it, and uh, it goes like uh, a bit from side to side. Um, the viewing angles are great. Uh, I think that it says it's supposed to be 178, 178 uh, degrees, and I think it's quite close to that. Um, the, the, the stand is pretty good. It's very sta uh, it's sturdy. It doesn't wobble. Whether if you're shaking the desk that you're sitting on, um, and also uh, it it's made out of plastic, but it's still good quality and you won't uh, you won't see a difference there you won't see anything uh, you th you'll think it's cheap cheaply made but it's not it's very good even though it's plastic and uh, for the price that you pay I think it's supposed to be but it's very good I recommend it um, for the color accuracy it's uh, for the for the panel the color accuracy is good um, I didn't color, calibrate it, but I don't need to calibrate it because I'm not working as a uh, photographer and videographer anymore. Um, but because it's an IPS dis display, the colors are okay. Um, if you want to get them better, you can calibrate the monitor and you can get better colors. But I, for, for me, I don't, I don't need that. If you choose uh, sRGB mode in the menu system, uh, the colors are not very accurate. Uh, I recommend using racing mode and setting up your display in racing mode because you'll get the full AMD FreeSync, you'll get the you'll, you can get the ELMB, uh, you can also get uh, I think it's the one millisecond response time, uh, and that's why I use uh, racing mode. And in the sRGB, uh, I think it gets dark. Uh, the colors are very bluish um, I didn't uh, it says that it has uh, one millisecond response time I'm not a professional gamer I don't notice that uh, but I think that it is one millisecond and I think that it's good for my thoughts don't don't get me on the, don't trust me on that um, the e, it has also uh, ELMB which is which mean which is which stands for uh, extreme low motion motion blur and I think that uh, turning it on, it has turbo, tar turbo or uh, standard. I think uh, you should use a standard if you want, if you hate motion blur, uh, do not turn it on on tur turbo. But 
when you re when you turn on the extreme low motion blur the display dims down so if you're using it in a very um, bright environment i would not recommend turning elmb on and uh the menu bar it's very bad i hate it uh to be honest but i i kind of get used to it uh, because uh, it doesn't have a joystick, it's just uh, you have to press buttons on the on the uh, on the bottom of the monitor, and uh, you can also uh, activate something uh, in, in by you can activate something by accident. And also, uh, it happened to to me a few times. I turned it off uh, by accident and you have to start all, all over when you're setting up the display or setting up the colors or setting up things in the menu. Uh, it also has uh, crosshair, you can turn on crosshair, uh, so if you want to cheat a bit in the games, uh, but I don't quite, I don't use it, use it a lot. And um, also there, there you have, you have a friend, FPS counter, uh, you can turn on on the top which uh, I quite like and sometimes it, uh, when I'm playing games I turn it on and the, it also has uh, lines for, um, for display alignment if you're using uh, a second monitor or a third monitor like if, you're, if you have multi-monitor system uh, so you can align it better uh, I, th I think that is great and for the price that you're paying it's a very great monitor so in conclusion would I recommend it if you're on a budget and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on, uh, on on a display? Yes, I would recommend it. If you're a gamer and if you want to, if you don't care about the picture, the picture quality and how the uh, images look, uh, I would recommend the TN panel because uh, it, it it is faster, but the viewing angles and the pictures aren't good. But if you are casually gaming, casually photo editing, casually video editing, I would recommend this monitor, especially for the price. So there, are, that are my thoughts about this monitor. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.